Obviously, I'm sure you've heard the news already. Jurgen Klopp has announced he's leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. As a Liverpool fan, I am completely devastated with the news. But I do think this is going to mark a change, a new era for my club. Which is why I'm going to rebuild Liverpool life after Klopp and under Xabi Alonso in FC24. Obviously, first thing to do is set up our tactical vision. I've gone with wing play. I'm going to try and mimic what he's doing uh, via Leverkusen and bring it into Liverpool with a new system. Just to know, I have gone and released the players that were on the last year of their contract, like Thiago, Matip and Adrian. All three of them are out of the club. They're now free agents. First bit of business, and I know it's sad, 200 million. Mohamed Salah, he's gone to Saudi Arabia, but it just had to be done. The idea is to reinvest this 200 million pounds into the squad to help Xabi build his dream Liverpool squad that can help us win many more trophies. So obviously, now that Salah's gone, we have a humongous budget to work with. Our budget originally was only 150 mil, and now with the extra 200 million, just look at the budget we have. We have all of this money to try and rebuild this squad. So here is our starting squad, and I do actually think this is very, very strong. But I do think with the budget we have, we need to be making signings to improve it, especially right wing. We can't just have a heart we can't just have Harvey Elliott out there. I know Jota Gakpo, they could play out there. They're very good, but we just need this star studded winger to help fill the Salah void. And I also do think we need another centre back option. Our backup centre back options, yeah, Jarrell Kwanza, Reese Williams, these guys just aren't gonna cut it, so we will need a new centre back. Just a quick reminder that if you have not done so already, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I think I found the perfect replacement for Salah. We complete the signing. Leroy Sane from Bayern Munich. He's back in the Premier League. Xabi Alonso's first signing for, for the Reds. He's going to be a sensational signing. Just over 70 million to sign him. He's going to fill this Salah void and hopefully become a legend at the club. Here is the second sign and he's a man, he's a teenager. He's been linked with moves for all over the place, all over the Premier League. But we've snapped him up, that's right. Antonio Silva here, 30 million from Benfica. He's going to be a good rotation option to rotate with Canate, Van Dijk and Gomez in our centre-back position. Match day one is Xabi Alonso's first game here as Liverpool manager and we get spanked 2-0 away from home to Chelsea. This is not a good start to life after Klopp. After that 2-0 spanking from Chelsea, things had to change with a new signing. His move to Bayern fell through in the summer, so we've decided to sign it. That's right, João Paulinho for £45 million. Welcome to Liverpool, my friend. He's going to be our new defensive mid. He's going to bolster our midfield and hopefully win lots of trophies here. It's time for the second game of the season. João Paulinho's first impression here as a Liverpool player. Let's see how it goes here at Anfield against Bournemouth. And to say it was disappointing is an understatement. 70% possession and we draw 0-0. Goalless draw. And Saboz even missed a penalty. It's just a disgrace. Not a good start to life under Xabi. Hopefully now we can get our first win of the season here under Xabi. Here now away at St. James's Park. And we do. Leroy Sane gets his first Premier League goal for Liverpool. We nick a 1-0 win. Isaac miss misses a pen. But it doesn't matter because we still get all three points. Here we are, 31st of August, it's deadline day. We still do have 197 million to work with, but I'm comfortable that this squad is a squad we stick with at least until January to see where it goes. So that's it, no deadline day signings. I'm gonna sim to the end of deadline day. We don't need any signings. We're gonna win the league with this squad. Now I do think it is time to sim quite a few games. Sim to the halfway point, sim to January to see where we get. Now, at the halfway point of the season, I think it's time to see where Xabi has his team sitting in the league. And he has them sitting top of the league after 20 games. Three points clear, 44 points. He's having an amazing start to life here in Merseyside. I think it's time to check the Carabao Cup now when we're not in the semi-finals. So where, where are we? Did we get knocked out early? Yep, we didn't. Oh my god. That is very, very embarrassing. 
losing to Preston on penalties. Oh my days. Time to check the group stage of the Champions League and we do finish top of the league, top, top of the group without a single loss, overcoming Bayern Munich as well. In the round of 16, and we have Napoli, that's going to be a very difficult task. But I do think this squad is capable of beating them. It's now time for a season-defining game. First versus third, Arsenal versus Liverpool at the Emirates. We need to win this game here if we have any shot of winning the league. We have had to rotate as well as a few players like Leroy Sane and Van Dijk are tired. But we are hoping we can still Pull off a big result here. Can Xabi do it? Yes, he can. It's a big win for us for our season. Darwin Nunes in the first half and Gakpo in the second half. 2-1 win away at the Emirates. That now puts us back at the top of the table. Two points ahead of Arsenal. If we can keep up some good form, we can go on to win the league. It's now time for another huge game. First leg of the Champions League round of 16, away at Napoli here, we do our best and we nick a late draw thanks to a Darwin goal. That does mean it's all to play for in the second leg at Anfield. Speaking of the second leg, here we go, now at Anfield, hopefully we can overcome Napoli here, once again at Anfield, and no, no, we're out of the Champions League, how? How on earth are we out of the Champions League? Creature gets a goal in the 82nd minute and it ends our Champions League dreams here. Xavi's first season and we're out of the round of 16. What on earth is this? Like I said, it's time to turn our attention to focus on the league. We, this is another humongous game. Man City here at Anfield. Once again, hopefully we can go on to win this. It is a draw. It's not what we needed, but we still do get something out of it. It's now time to make our way to Manchester. That's right. We're playing Manchester United away. We should be able to get a win here. Hopefully we can. And it's another draw. Why do we keep drawing? We need to win this league. And so it all comes down to the final game of the season. Both us... Arsenal and Man City can win the league here if results go our way. All we need to do is win here at home to Wolves and the title is ours. And there we go, Diogo Jota, last minute winner, wins us the Premier League title. Xabi Alonso has only gone and done it in his first season. He's happy, the players are ecstatic and we've only done it. And here we go, time for the trophy lift itself, Virgil van Dijk, our skipper, could be his final game for the club as well, his contract's expiring, and there we go, we've won the Premier League in Jabby's first season. So that is going to wrap up today's video of Life After Clock with Xabi Alonso in FC24. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.